As usual, Democrats are having a hard time following the science, and despite the CDC's new guidelines regarding going maskless, I'm sure you've noticed that most, if not all, Democrats continue to wear them <laughs> everywhere they go. And when I say everywhere, <laughs> I mean everywhere. Here's Alexander Ocasio-Cortez wearing one outside <laughs> on a beautiful spring day. And nobody's gonna tell Eric Fartwell to take off his mask. Nobody. Well, I was leaving the House floor. You're still required to wear a mask on the House floor. And, and frankly, Jim, I just forgot to take my mask off once I came out of the building. Uh, and uh, Green's aide said, take your mask off, Congressman. And I kept walking past and I thought, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. These marauding goons who are going around trying to bully my other colleagues. So I just went up to him and, you know, asked him who he was. And I told him, don't tell me what to do with some words that you can't say on CNN. Yes, a member of Congress just swore on national television because somebody reminded him about the new CDC guidelines. Meanwhile, in the White House press briefing room, this woman, Yamichi, whatever her name is, who works for PBS, who is a proud woman of color, was complaining about the mask mandate being lifted for fully vaccinated people while not wearing her mask. And also in the switch to COVID, um, the largest national nurses union is saying that the CDC guidelines on masks is putting frontline workers and especially people of color at risk and that they're, they're calling for the CDC to reverse that. What's the White House's stance on that union in particular saying that they're, they're members and people of color are at risk? I'll handle this one, Raggedy Ann. Actually, I'll have this 10-year-old boy explain it to you as he did to his school board. I just turned 10 years old and I am a fourth grader at Felix A. Williams. I expected school to be a little bit different in the beginning, but I didn't think it would stay this way all year long. And I was surprised by the rules. A lot of them didn't make any sense to me, like the fact that we were not allowed to play on the playground or have student council or turn to face each other at lunch, and we also have to wear masks outside at PE and on track. I love my school and all, but my teachers seem really stressed, and that makes me feel bad. One teacher walks around with a clipboard full of referrals for any student whose mask isn't on properly. It makes me feel scared. That same teacher yells at us having our masks down to drink water while we are outside in Carlin. She told us we had to wait until we were in our parents' car to have a drink of water. She had her mask down the entire time while she was yelling at us, which makes me and all my friends very mad. This happens a lot. And it seems unfair teachers take their masks off while, they're yell while they yell at us kids and that we need to pull ours up. I asked my mom if there's a word for this, and she said there is. Hypocrisy. You see, it's so simple, even a fourth grader has figured it out. But wearing a mask for liberals is now like a religion for them. It's like Muslim women wearing their hijab. Or maybe it's their way of showing their allegiance to Antifa. As you know, surprisingly, many major retail stores across the country have announced that they no longer have a mask mandate for customers. Well, that is, unless you live in California. I just know it. And last weekend, every single store that I went to, the employees complained that I wasn't wearing a mask and they wouldn't check me out unless I put one on. And just like I predicted, we're starting to see viral videos of customers getting into verbal altercations with employees and store managers because, well, the customers are following the CDC guidelines, but that's not good enough. One such video was from Ricky Schroeder, of all people, the child star from Silver Spoons, and he's been in some other shows since then, but he went to Costco and they wouldn't let him in because, well, the Costco's in California are not following the CDC guidelines. And I believe it was just two weeks ago that in Washington, D.C., their district's guidelines were that if you're attending a wedding, you can't dance. <laughs> and you thought that was just the plot of Footloose. I'm serious, this from NBC4 Washington. No dancing allowed. DC mayor under fire for COVID restriction. And that's from May 6th of this year. USA Today, Washington bans wedding dances, which some couples call a bit extreme. <laughs> just a bit. And there is no place perhaps crazier on the internet than Twitter, where people are expressing their concerns about the new maskless guidelines. This lunatic tweeted out that, quote, 
Trader Joe's new policy will not stop me from wearing a mask. I'm a loyal customer, but I feel for their workers who put their lives on the line throughout COVID-19. I feel this is too much too soon. This is the best one right here. Walmart and other stores just lifted its mask mandate for vaccinated people, which means that everyone that goes shopping there will now be, quote, vaccinated. I'll be buying online. Even the New York Times can't help but think that these people are just a bit strange. And they published an article titled, They're Vaccinated and Keeping Their Masks On, Maybe Forever. One woman is quoted in the article as saying, even if I'm the only person on planet Earth that continues to wear the mask, if that's what makes me feel comfortable, I'll wear the mask. And Nasty Pelosi, who apparently knows better than the doctors at the CDC, has decided to keep the mask mandate in place for anybody who enters the House of Representatives. And now it appears that the Capitol Police are issuing people fines if they follow the CDC guidelines and don't wear a mask in the House of Representatives. As Republican Brian Mast, a representative out of Florida, discovered tweeting out that he was just given a $500 fine for following CDC guidelines and not wearing his mask inside. And sadly, the COVID-19 pandemic isn't the only one that is spread around the world. Liberalism appears to have taken root in Japan, as well as Australia, as you know, at least in Melbourne, many other parts of the world. But now, people in Japan are protesting, demanding that the Summer Olympics be canceled because of the coronavirus. And did you notice that the CDC changed their guidelines regarding mask mandates? Right after Rand Paul grilled Dr. I'm sorry, Mr. Fauci about the possible origin of the coronavirus itself. And thank God that Bill Gates has finally been canceled. I don't think we're going to be hearing much more from him for a while. Not because he was posing as a medical doctor on television, but because his divorce has opened up quite a big can of worms. So despite Black Lives Matter probably planning to burn down a bunch more businesses across the country this summer, I'm looking to have a good time with the lockdowns and the mask mandates finally coming to an end. And to celebrate, get 20% off of any of my shirts from markdice.com by entering the promo code PARTYTIME, one word, PARTYTIME at the checkout. So get yourself an I Love Global Warming tank top, a Trump's America t-shirt, or any of my awesome designs by going to markdice.com or click the link in the description below, enter the promo code PARTYTIME at the checkout, save 20%, and check them out!